I'm Michaela. Hi, I'm Michaela. And we're from Cadet, Cadet Girl Scout Troop 16026. The video that you are about to see is our silver project. It contains three scenes of fire safety tips that will be useful to you and your families. Hope you enjoy it. I'm making spaghetti for our family dinner tonight. Would you like to help me? Sounds like fun. Okay, can you pass me a paper towel? Because I spilled some oil. Hey, don't sound so close. Why does it matter? Oh, it's the flames could reach out at any time and hit them. But it's only on a low heat setting. So? It could ignite and then their house would burn down. How do you know so much about fire safety? Um, my family and I got this free home fire inspection from the Blaine Fire Department where they came out and told us a bunch of, like, fire safety stuff. Okay, what well, was one of them that you had to move the paper towels all the way over there? Um, one of them was the three-foot rule. Mm-hmm. And it states that everything flammable should be at least three feet away from the stove. All right. So that it won't ignite. Okay. Did I put... Oil in that. Okay, uh, can you read off the directions for me? Okay, it says put water on to boil while you're sauteing the onions. Okay, oh, did I put oil in the water? Oof. Hey, Kit, how are you going to open that? Just going like that. No, oh, yeah, see, that's what happens when you do that. You have to open it away from you, otherwise you could get a steam burn. I think I did. Okay, so... See, like that. Oh, okay. Did you put oil in it? I did. Actually, I did not. So... There we go. Okay. Now, that makes sense. Um, what's the other directions? Were you expecting someone? No, but do you want to come answer the door with me? Well, what about this? It's all on a low heat setting. I can just go for two minutes. Yeah, but what if it's Barbara? She never stops talking. Hang on a minute! It's all, it's only on a low heat setting. No, dude, just cover it. Turn the heat off and move it away. Okay, so like this. Yes. Turn heat the off. heat off. And move it away. Away. And just turn the heat off for that one because that one's water. Okay. okay. Let's go to the door. Yeah. So, I have a couple of hours until my mom expects me home. Okay. What do you want to do? Uh, we just got a couple new movies from the store. Do you want to watch one of those? Popcorn? Yes. Popcorn's in there. Okay. Here you go. Alright. How about you go downstairs, go pick out one of the movies, and I'll put that, this, in the microwave, and I'll meet you down there. Are you, go are you going to sit here and wait while that pops the whole time? No. It's only going to be popping for a couple minutes. Yeah, but if you go down there and something happens to that, uh huh. Um, like it burns or it starts a fire, how are you going to know? I don't know. How do we prevent the fire? Well, we can sit here and watch it because, you know, that sort of stuff happens because the microwaves, because microwaves are usually different mm -hmm. and so those times are, usually aren't perfect. Okay. Uh, what happens if a fire did start? If a fire did start, um, we learned that you have to turn the microwave off and leave it shut, get everyone out of the house, and call 911. Okay. So, now, how about we go get the movie first, then come up here and pop the popcorn. That sounds so, okay. Let's go. Let's go. We 
hope you enjoyed watching this fire prevention video. As much as we enjoyed making it. Remember to ask your parents to check the batteries and the smoke alarms. Thanks for watching.